write it different ways, but I got my inspiration was to write it for poetry. Mm, so, poetry. Yes, so yes, I tried many times to do it like a novel, like most people. It just didn't hit. It has to click. Yes. And it just wouldn't click that way, but it clicked mm -hmm. through through the poetry. And this is how I've been, I've written it many, over many years. I have had a lot of, um, if you notice in the book, you will see um, poetry from 2011, you know, 2000, maybe nine. So mm -hmm. I have written for many years, but just never did anything with the book. Just stayed, you know, I just had it saved, saved somewhere. I mm -hmm. even have taped my voice, you know, and, and, and this thing. But, um, you know, with this COVID and being at home, working from home, and um, I'll be writing. My daughter said, Mommy, why don't you write? Yeah. Said, I'm writing all the time. What, what am I writing for? She says, mm -hmm. write, Mommy, write, you know. Why don't you write? You know, that's what you do. Why don't you write? And, um, you know, I kept hearing voices in my head, you know, you know, publish your book. Publish, get a book. So that's, that's just, I mean, basically, that's the truth. And you know, you're hearing little things tingling in your head, you know, to do something. Mm -hmm. And um, I just decided to search for a publisher, search for someone to help me in the process. Because it's not, um, unless you really know what you're doing, <laughs> you know, but I surely don't know anything about publishing. Mm -hmm. And I found this gentleman in, well, online, he lives in Florida, his mm -hmm. name is Donat Mitchell. And um, when I saw him, he popped up on me and he, up on the screen and I eventually I said, send him a note, you know, if you're legit, you know, send me a note, if you're legit, respond. Mm -hmm. you know? And he responded. And then the rest is history. I have a bestseller here. Oh, it's good for you. Available. Good for you. How, how long has it been available? Because I know it's available on Amazon.com. How long has it been out? Yeah, uh, it came out in December. It was launched December 9th. Mm -hmm. You know, it, um, I had a lot of um, difficulty mm -hmm. getting it launched because uh, when I submitted the book in November, Amazon gave me a tough time. Mm -hmm. You know, they're very tough, they're very strict, they're very tight with their rules and disciplines and principles. So I had to follow it to the T, you know, and um, every time I would submit it, I had to send it back to the book designer to do what fine, little fine corrections or whatever you needed to do. But eventually after three weeks or so, the book was published mm -hmm. and then it took off from there. Yeah. Yeah. Now in the beginning of the book, you talk a lot about your sister. Was she also an inspiration for this particular book? Ye well, yes, yes. Yvonne really encouraged me to write. Actually, mm -hmm. Yvonne and my dad, they really encouraged me to write. You know, they all said, you know, you, you, know um, you, you do poetry, you do it so well, you know, you could, you're an author, right, you know, you should write. You should. So when I used to write, I used to send it to her. And she said, what are you going to do with this? A couple mm -hmm. of them I, I put into a DNO, a few of them I put on Facebook and a publishing page I have. But most, the majority of my book is still here, you know. So uh, mm -hmm. she really did inspire me to write her, 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 her presence is so strong. You know, mm -hmm. she's passed on, but her presence is still so strong in my work that um, I r had to put it down, mm -hmm. you know, put it on paper, put it down for people to read. And my work, you know, it inspires other people. People see themselves in my work. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of my reviews I've gotten before over the years, you know, the people tell me, I don't, some people I don't even know, international. Mm -hmm. They would respond telling me that um, I can speak to them you know, and, you know, which is a positive thing. Yeah. So, so, so what are some of the topics we can find? You, you speak of motivation, but what are some specific topics that you cover? I know in one of them, you have an account um, where I think you experienced your sister in a, was it a bird or a butterfly oh, at the yes, beginning? So what, what are some of the topics that you, that you cover? Or maybe you can even read us one of the poems so we can see what's, okay. what's in the book. Okay, um, I will. I can go down through the, um, um, the content here. Let's see the table of contents. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I could just read. You know, I have um, and I write in series. You know, I write a poem, but it'll be seven different poems built into the same like a story, in it's in series. You know, so then yes, I have a poems on my sister Yvonne. Then I have floods of emotions. Floods of emotions. It's on on the emotions through her 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 passing. Her you know around the time that she had transitioned. So these are emotions that I went through at the time. So this is what's about. And then I have on Dominica. You know I wrote on Dominica. I wrote on an experience. I you know some lady came to me 
and she was talking about Dominica. I also wrote on convents. I wrote on convent high school, actually convent small school, we called it. That's mm -hmm. convent prep schools. You know, back in the days in 1958, 1960, we called convent, convent small school. Mm -hmm. But I started convent in the old academy, the old academy in Roseau, mm -hmm. you know, as across the street from the Bishop House in Virgin Lane. Right. So I started school in 1958 at the Old Academy. I did two classes there, yes. I was in Miss Garat's class, which is a very well-known name in Dominica, and Miss Bully's class. Actually, Miss mm -hmm. Bully is always Bully's mother. So mm -hmm. I was like two, one and a half, three. And that these, in those days, Montessori, you could start Montessori at two and a half, three. You know, so I have um, poems on, on a, series, a series of poems on, on the, the small school, convent small school. Then I also have passionate, passionate poems. Um, you know, passionate uh, about sister, uh, sister relationships, and I have one on pretense togetherness. Pretense togetherness um, covers all aspects of life. It covers all aspects of life dealing with, um, you know, as it says, pretending, pretending your 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 feelings. You know, there are so many deep feelings. Everybody's under the surface. Mm -hmm. You know, they're pretending to be one thing, and as a matter of fact, they are not. So then I have poems on that you know, and inspirational. I have inspirational poems. I have one on seniors, you know, the whole you deal with seniors, you know. So um, so you would, know. You, would you consider yourself more of a poet? Would you consider yourself a poet or you just write in general and whichever way it wants to express itself, that's the direction you go? Um, I write according to how inspiration falls. Mm -hmm. Whatever is shown to me, I write on it. Um, mm -hmm. I write it through poetry. I also write it through, um, you know, you could say composition, you know, text, you know. So I write it through dif um, different formats, mm -hmm. you know, different formats to my work. You know, mm -hmm. you could, I'm a poet, yes, I write poetry, but I also do it in different formats. You know, mm -hmm. people say lyrical, they say all different names, all different terminologies, you know, mm -hmm. for the same thing, you know. So, yeah. Um, so I hope I've explained it. Yes, you know. yes, definitely. And of course, we're looking forward to the interaction of the audience. We have quite a captive audience on the live with us right now. So we're looking forward to your interaction. We have uh, Alex Bannis who says, congratulations. We have thank Patricia you. who says, very interesting. So again, th thank you everyone for being here with us. Uh, again, if you joined us late, this is a Dala presentation, the book lunch of Miss Rosalind Severin McLean, and she's telling us all about her new book, which was released and published in December called Oceans of Thought. So she's just kind of walking us through her inspiration for the book. And now Rosalind, this is a, a book number one. I noticed that it said book number one. So kind of tell us where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, actually I have a lot of work that I, I'm sharing. I should say. So book number two is, is in the making. Yeah, I have probably will do, I don't want to put a number on how many books are coming out, but there will be, you know, a few, you know, mm -hmm. I this um, book one, you know, that's the beginning. And then we have book two, but that I'm focusing on music, you know, mm -hmm. my, my, yeah, my experience with music because I'm actually a musician as well. Mm -hmm. Although we were not really considered as musicians because in, in, in Dominica, I would say, cause that's where I'm from. They look at only a band, you know, or someone playing a band or someone who is popular as a musician, but they mm -hmm. don't see other people's work in music as well. Because you were part, you were part of an, an only girls band, the first and only only yes. girls band in Dominica. So, so tell us about that. Yes, um, we had a band. I um, actually, the, the band started with me. I'm the one who started the band. Similar because um, I started playing for Dr. Watty's choir. They were called the Goodwill Singers back in those days, like in the late 60s, early 70s. And um, I played for one of his concerts, the guitar, because I taught myself the guitar, because I could mm -hmm. read music. I was taught piano lessons from the time I was about six, seven years old, all the way up till I was 23. I was taught piano lessons by Mrs. Rosemary Kuzlati. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mrs. Kuzlati, she taught me piano. So I knew how to read music, you know, I knew theory. So when Miss Dr. Watty asked me to play, you know, I played for that first concert. And then he asked me to play again for another concert. And I said to him, um, Jennifer Fadell, Jennifer Fadell Johnson was in Dominica at the time. And I said, call Jennifer. 
And that's where the duo started. We had a duo, Jennifer and myself, playing. Mm -hmm. And from there, the band, the band was formed. You know, we had an older William Schoenfeld, you know. We were all friends, all friends mm -hmm. living around the same neighborhood. And we had Jean Mono who passed on. We had Ella Butler on the drums, no lipid bass. I played the organ. Well, that's the keyboard, they call it now. And the, the rhythm guitar. And no, uh, Jennifer Fedel played the lead guitar, you know. So we formed this band. And uh, we, we were all uh, convent high school students. Mm -hmm. So we played. Of course, convent girls. Yeah, convent girls. We're all convent girls here. Yeah. But, you know, there's a little hiccup in that because um, the convent had some instruments. And we thought we could, we played, we played for different events on those instruments. Events like um, the SMA, St. Mary's Academy had a function, we played there, played at Parish Hall, we played in the convent. But then we wanted to play more songs. We wanted to mm -hmm. play other tunes. And Sister Jose in those days wouldn't allow us to play pop songs. Wow, because you guys were from the convent high school. Convent high school, we had to play only holy songs. Oh, happy day, and this type of things, which was fine. But then we said, you know, we remember we are young teenagers, 13, 14, 15. We want to play other songs. We hear all the pop tunes on the radio. And we took a chance to play at, in the play in the school hall. And Sister Josie heard us. That was oh, it. Oh, Lord. That was the end of it. That, that was, was the, the end, end of the, band. the school band. Yeah. No, that was the end of the school band. But we decided we were going to continue playing. And that's when the Missing Dimensions was, was, was the title. We got the title Missing Dimensions. Mm -hmm. Because when you played in the school, we had no name. You just play music. But when mm -hmm. we decided, we said, no, we have to find a name. And of course, I came up with a name. We were all looking for a name. And I came up with Missing Dimensions. And uh, Jennifer Fadell says, take out the G and put a put an apostrophe. And we said, missing. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> like you're singing it. Yeah. <laughs> so we did that. And the band took off. The band took off. For, did you guys get to like travel or anything? No, no, no. Okay. We were teenagers. We were young yes. Oh, that's true. That's true. So we couldn't leave Dominica. We could play anywhere yeah. in Dominica, but we couldn't leave Dominica and go anywhere. We were mm -hmm. like 14, 15, 16. We were young girls. Right, right, right. But we played tremendous among the places in Dominica. That's good. We a lot of places. We were well known back in the 70s, mm -hmm. you know, for the band. We were the only all gold group at the time. At the mm -hmm. time. And in the region, we're talking about the regions, not only Dominica, but all over the Caribbean. There was no other girl group. Like yeah, all. and maybe it's maybe it's time for another one. That's a great idea to have an all-girl uh, band from yes. Dominica representing Dominica. I think that would get some attention. Yes, yes. Well, I'm mm -hmm. hoping that when Book Two comes out and and everybody reads Book Two, they will see the 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 intent in the intensity of the band and what we did because it's going to be a long book. The, the 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 poems on the band is practically half of the book. Mm, you know, going so, so you're in the process. When can we expect that book to? Well, hopefully, hopefully the book will come out at the like, beginning of the summer. Mm. Hopefully, or even before that, because mm -hmm. I'm in the process of transcribing and putting it together. You know, it takes mm -hmm. a little time to actually do it, do it right. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So hopefully it should come out, um, you know, by in, in the summer. Mm -hmm. Definitely come out this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I know you have quite a few um, ideas in mind for other books to come. So we're yes, looking forward yes. to seeing that. And we yes. have more comments coming in on the Facebook Live. We have okay. Anna Philip who said, it's a really good poetry book. I truly enjoyed it. Marcelin Edwards says, oh, I think she was speaking to somebody else. I'm sorry, Marcelin. She uh -huh. says, thanks, thanks to Aura. <laughs> so, and then <laughs> Tina Bell de Ramon, our, I like to call her our Facebook historian because she's uh -huh. such a valuable asset to uh, uh, what we're trying to do here on Facebook. She says, I'm here taking it in. I remember to the all girls band. So she remembers oh, she you great. guys yeah. had Quite a band. A people have us, yeah, they, they have us in mind because I brought it back to life. I've been doing a few interviews on the band and mm -hmm. um, letting people know, yes, we did exist. We were there. We were part mm -hmm. of the 70s, 70s trend of band mm -hmm. of musicians in Dominica. And we mm -hmm. were not just um, written by air. We read music by the book. You by know, in other words, we could reading. read music. We, mm -hmm. we knew theory. Mm -hmm. A lot of the band members, they played music and they played by air. You know, they played, mm -hmm. in, but we didn't do it like that. So at mm -hmm. least, you know, 
So hopefully we get some credit, you know. Yes, yes, yes. The yes, and, yes. Yeah. And, and and Dr. Dangle Ben says he's looking forward to getting a copy. And he reminds us that we must celebrate all our riders. And that is so yeah. important. And, you know, that's what we do at Dallow. We celebrate our riders. We're a group of very passionate uh, Dominican writers and we put together various events actually we have a poetry competition coming okay. up which I will talk about at the end of the program yes. and that's what we're here for we're here to promote our Dominican writers promote our art mm. and uh, if anybody's interested and would like more information you can always check us out right here on Facebook uh, Dala D-A-L-A or mm. you can check out our website which is D-A uh, slash uh dash not slash da dash writers dot com so you can always check us out now rosin let's just talk about because a lot of times so many people have the idea to write a book and it simply sits on the shelf because they do not know where to start they face uh constant obstacles did you face any obstacles in putting your book together just kind of tell us about obstacles that you faced along the way and how you overcame them um, yes, well, there are lots of obstacles that, you know, we go through when you're trying to put it together. For me, the obstacle was actually getting someone to help me, you know, to, to I had all the material, I had the manuscript, I had all, all to get into the book, but how do I put it together? How do I arrange it? That was the question. You know, mm -hmm. do I, how do I do the categories? Because I would think that you can't just put all the poems, jumble them together. You have to have the, a format. Mm -hmm. what goes first what goes second how do you do it what do you put it so that was my main my main setback you know mm -hmm. until i found mr donard and um he coached you i took a class i took his publishing class and through his publishing class i was you know you know i was able to know how to go about putting it together this is the main thing is having having the work you know putting having the idea and writing down the idea you know don't be afraid to write down your idea you can always go back and edit it you know, mm -hmm. so, you know, you write down whatever comes to mind, whatever it is that you're doing or you feel that you want to do, and you put it together and you let know you have to have your work edited, you know, or mm -hmm. proofread. Yes. Proofread is more the word, yeah. Yes. So that really was my obstacle, not knowing what to do and mm -hmm. how to put it together. Although and I had you, all the material. Yeah, and you know, we have several authors on the live right now, and I know I can speak for all of them, including Annette, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Dangle, Ben, and myself. And one of the techniques that we use to write is mm -hmm. we use our cell phones. You get an idea, there's a note section in your cell phone. If something comes to you, you just grab your cell phone and you make a note of it. So I found myself when I was writing my book, I would wake up two o'clock in the morning, I have an idea, I grab my phone, I write it down. Because guess what? If you leave it until tomorrow, you're going to forget it. That's so right, it's just it's knowing these little tips and tricks. And what we're planning on doing um, with Dala is yeah. we're going to have workshops, right? Oh. So we're going to have workshops on topics such as writer's block right? How to organize your writing, how to get published, the different options for publishing, because now you know that there's self-publishing through Amazon, yes. or you can seek out a company to publish your book, and the importance of having an editor. Because oh, I yes. have to tell you, I wrote my book, it was perfect, it was awesome. <laughs> and then I gave it, I passed it around to a couple of people and they came back with so many and mistakes. Are, yes, yes, yes. That I would have never seen in a million years. You definitely need a proofreader. You know, mm -hmm. you need a way to proofread your work. Mm -hmm. Because you know, the proofreaders are uh, trained, you know, all the final points. I also mm -hmm. took a, a editing class. You know, I took a class with, the, with CUNY, um, you know, to, as to how to edit and to put my book together. So I had a little knowledge on that because I really took the class. And I remember you said about, um, you use your phone to write the notes. Well, I guess I'll remain old fashioned. I get a pen and paper. Yes, that too. <laughs> even so that too. There's something with the pencil. I don't know if it's the lead or I'm just old fashioned or my magic yes. fashion, but I get a pencil and paper and I yes. just note down. You yes. Know, you know, I have paper all over the place. Yes. So I, I know where to get it. Don't touch mm -hmm. my paper. I put it there. I know where it is. <laughs> and then I come looking. And even, I have a whole set of books too, a set of um, mm -hmm. notebooks. And I'm writing notes as I'm going along and I get an inspiration. I just, I'm just writing. And I listen a lot to, to inspirational speakers. Mm -hmm. So then I write little things. 
And when I go to write, I know where to go and pick it up. I say, don't, I had this in this book. Did you touch mm -hmm. that book? And I'm going, you know. So, yeah, so I go through that too. It's, uh, nowadays, people use it in your phones, but I don't rely on the phones for that. I, yeah, it's I what works for you. Yeah, because guess what? I was in, I was in college and computers were readily available and I was uh, still writing my essays and all my assignments, pen, paper hand, and yes. pen, and then typing it on the computer. I had to force myself out of that habit when I was working on my master's because uh, I was like, you know, you're, you're doing the work twice. twice but yeah. at the end of the day, it's what works for you. What works for you. Right? Yeah. What works for somebody else, it doesn't work for you. You stick to what works for you. Right. That's, right? True, that's true, yes. And another good thing for writing, I find, you know, as I mentioned, you just write your ideas down. You just write it. Mm -hmm. The way it comes, it may not sound right after you read it, but that's the way it came. It came in mm -hmm. that, that inspiration, it came in that format, and you just keep writing it just as it is. Mm -hmm. And then you go back to it, then you can edit and make it make sense for the reader. Mm -hmm. For you, it, it's, it's perfect for you, but then you have to do it in a way that it can be read, someone else can read it. Because you're mm -hmm. writing not for yourself. You're writing for someone else to read it. Right. You know, people, a lot of people may think, well, oh, I wrote this. No, you're writing for someone else to read it. Mm -hmm. Think of and it how you, how you would look at, at the, you know, the composition. Right. The back mm -hmm. composition. I still stuck in the old-fashioned composition or the essay. Think of yeah. the essay. And funny enough, at home, I never read. I never read books. I didn't want to study. I couldn't Interesting. study. I was studying all my classes. Mm -hmm. So I didn't care. Right. Interesting. <laughs> no, I, I never read. My mother mm -hmm. said, go read a book like your sister, and I would go climb the Gover tree. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the time. It wasn't the time. No. And then, and then I would I would say or sing a song or read or say a poem in my head, and they would say, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. So all this time I have this thing tickling in my head, and people didn't understand me, mm -hmm. you know? But I never, never bought a book. Mm -hmm. I bought music books, though. Whenever right, they right, were right, because that was your interest. That was my interest, you know. Mm -hmm. But as far as mm -hmm. reading a poetry book or reading a Shakespeare, I did mm -hmm. Shakespeare in school, of course. We had to do those things. But I never bought a book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so so I'm really enjoying this conversation with you, Roslyn. And, of course, we always want to keep our eyes on the, the Facebook mm -hmm. comments. And Annette Phillips said, yes, I use my phone. And I know that she does that because I've heard several of her interviews. Uh, mm -hmm. Maslin says, you are so right on taking down the notes at 2 a.m. And yes. all odds time, my friend said, keep the notepad by the bedside. Great idea. Uh, Tina, exactly. When I remember something, even the phraseology, I enter it on my notes app no matter what time of night. And then Patricia says, wow, Rosin, you have so much support on this live. I'm very Thank happy you. to see this. I'm very appreciative of that. Thank yes, you Yes, so Patricia yeah. says, my yeah. husband, uh, Mel Choir Fontaine, wrote a book on how he healed diabetes. For him, it was fun. He could not believe he wrote a book. Congratulations to all writers. And let's take one more before we talk about the importance of having the right support. Um, Alice Severe, that the person has your name, so maybe my related sister. to you. Yes, yes, my sister. Yes. Oh, <laughs> nice to see you. Enjoying yeah. this interview. Best of luck with advertising this book. Ordered the hard copy and waiting patiently for it. Nothing like the book in hand. Yes. yes. So tell us. Thank so the book you. is av available both uh, physical copy and an e copy. Yes, the book is on yes. Amazon. Available on Amazon, uh, mm -hmm. both ebook or the Kindle. Mm -hmm. And and hard copy, you know, right. so you get it on Amazon, um, you know, it's ready, ready to ship. Mm -hmm. And I have, uh, I am actually on the bestsellers list, so which is a plus mm -hmm. for uh, Dominican authors. I look at it as a plus for women authors, mm -hmm. Dominican women authors. Mm -hmm. You know, we have um, and, and a lot of bestsellers list. Uh -huh. Yeah, and a lot of people are always curious about how do you get on the bestsellers list. So how how did that work for you? I believe, well, my coach is the one who actually is at the backbench of this. I believe mm -hmm. it's through the, the launch, the launching, getting people to be on the launch and to support the launch when you launch the book. I think that's mm -hmm. where it starts. I see, I think, mm -hmm. because, you know, they are the ones in management and they're the ones who know how that runs. Right, but, right. Um, yeah. But you, you try to, to put your book in categories according mm -hmm. to what you write. And um, mm -hmm. this is what you learn from Amazon. I learned that through, uh, through the process. 
Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, but it's more on the launch, trying to launch your book, trying to have a successful launch. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, so this is a, this is what is what it's, I think it is. You know? Well, congratulations. Congratulations on that. And before, um, you know, we talked about the importance of support. I also know that your daughter played a very important role with this project. So you want to yes. tell us how she was instrumental with uh, assisting you with your book? Yes, most definitely. I give her a lot of credit to uh, Malti, Malti McLean. I give her a lot of credit, a lot of thanks and gratitude because um, it saved me a lot of money. You know, because she had she actually did all the, the the computer work, putting it in the template. You know, organizing it, formatting it. Because we, I made sure, or oh, that's what we were taught, to have your book in such a way that when it gets to the professional formatting, and so they will not have a problem if your if your 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 material. And um, she did all that. She did all the computer work for the book. You know, all the computer work, all putting it in the, in, in the script, even editing, because you know this, they know a lot of stuff that you don't know. Mm-hmm. And I tell her, well, I educated you, so you're supposed to know more than me. <laughs> That's it. I send you to school. You have your, your degree. You were educated. Mm-hmm. You know more than me. So. And she's more computer savvy, so why more, not use oh, yes. the skills right, right yeah. around the corner from you? Yes, because for, even for this live, she had to be here to put it on. I'm like, mm-hmm. what do I go on? <laughs> absolutely yes and uh, thank god for her you know thank god that she was and i said to her if you don't do it i have to pay someone to do it so the money is going to go out instead of staying in you know mm-hmm. and that's that's basically what it is so it is good to have that kind of support you know mm-hmm. someone there with you because even if actually like i'm trying to get the the seal for the the best-selling author and i have to do it through the 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 upwork because mm-hmm. I have the guy who did the the gentleman Pan Wan is an is an in there who did the book cover, so mm-hmm. I have to relate to him now to try and get him to to adjust the book cover. So all that you know, I have to get on. Come on, two o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's talk to this guy. What do you want me to say? So she is the one there, and she says okay. And thank God she's helpful, you know, helpful mm-hmm. in it, and she's enjoying the process. So and thank you. Yeah, for that. so, so it seems like it, it, you know. It, it really does take a village. And maybe when we are discussing on a dollar workshop, how to become a best publishing author, maybe you can join us for that discussion. I sure will, yes. Yeah, yes, because sure we're just will. trying to network. We're trying to pull our resources together to right. be able to help our community. And Anna does confirm that mm-hmm. it depends on your reviews, your sales, yes. and your categories. And I think a lot yes. of times we don't recognize the importance of having the right categories, categories for right. our books and subcategories as well, from what I yes. Understand. Yes, a subtitle. Yeah. You need definitely need a subtitle is one of the, the, the things that we stress. We mm-hmm. definitely need to have a subtitle that will explain what's in the book. Something that will catch mm-hmm. your audience, the readers. That because mm-hmm. oceans of thoughts, book one. What's mm-hmm. oceans of thought? People are thinking of all of the things, you know. But oceans of thought is the oceans of the waves of your thoughts. You know, it's not only the ocean in the sea that's an ocean. Mm-hmm. You know, the waves you're thinking is an ocean. The the, the, the the cosmos is an ocean. Mm-hmm. So your thoughts, you know, the thoughts is what make actually your makeup, your makeup of thinking, your inner speech is your thought. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, so I named it Oceans of Thoughts because I couldn't think of anything better than to, you know, you know, on a spiritual level. Mm-hmm. And it can, re- it is also spiritual as well as it is, um, you know, on a natural, you know, natural everyday level. So mm-hmm. people can understand, they, they catch it. So I then then the, the subtitle explains what it is. It's an inner walk through the inner self. Mm-hmm. You know, it's about your inner self, your your your, your inner being, how you think, how you, how I mean it's for me too. It's not only for people, it's for me too. I'm talking about this, I'm talking about myself. Mm-hmm. And I talk about myself and encourage you to see yourself through my work. Mm-hmm. You understand? So this this is like like what it's all about. And yeah. all the books I write from Oceans of Thoughts will be on the same level. You see mm-hmm. in your inner self, you see your inner being, your inner spirit through my work. Because my work talks to you. And everyone so far has told me, you know, they can relate. You know, they see themselves, you know, some of, I have some pieces that I wrote. And I've gotten some reviews from people um, who, international audience. And, you know, they're, they, they're wondering how I come to write that. I say, I'm talking about myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm talking about me, what I've been through. 
You yeah, know? and I think a book such as this is so important during, during COVID-19. And I want to talk a little bit about if that was the reason that you try to get it out in December. But before we do, I just want to remind everyone to please share this live, share this video so we can continue to generate support for our Dominican authors. We can continue to generate support for our talent, for the people who are part of um of our presentation and also to follow dallas so we are right here on facebook and you can follow us you can uh you click the notification button to find out when next we will be live and now rosin were you expecting another guest i think there's someone uh at the bottom were you expecting someone to join us not no I'm okay off, you know yeah it says it says judy so i'm not sure oh, uh, oh judy she, oh this is my cousin maybe she's she's trying to join she's some me. she somehow got on on the on the she got the link from you for the uh -huh. from the oh, so for the live <laughs> yes she no she's she's part she's part of the broadcast would you like her to come oh. in and say something yeah if she would want to sure. okay she's are you interested you. nod your head judy if you would like to come on Okay, I can't hear you, but we'll try to we'll try to bring her on for a quick second because she's here. Oh, she is. Oh, hi, hi Judy. Hi. I'm just listening and watching. I'm in the car. Actually, it's a beautiful day, so I'm outside. Hi. Okay, okay, okay. Well, just oh, say hi because for some reason you're on the broadcast, so you might as well say hi and congratulations hi. to Rosalind. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. Yeah, that was interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah, because yeah, wow. for some reason I saw she popped in on the on the broadcast and I thought, well, you must know her. So yeah. she can just and say I, congratulations. I share everything. Oh, thank you. I try to share everything, but you know, I don't know much about the computer. So yes, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I think you meant to share the Facebook where it'll be available yeah. on Facebook, but that's cool. fine. You know, we okay, welcome all you. the support we can get. <laughs> Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Well, I would like to mention one of the, uh, about the convent, you know, when I wrote about convent. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it just so happened that I was putting out the book about convent and just at the right time. I was trying to find pictures of the convent of the old academy of back then and of the old wooden, wooden building, the small school, the convent. Mm -hmm. And no one seemed to know that Dominica, in Dominica, that convent was in the old academy. I couldn't believe it. I was, wow. what do you mean? No one, I called convent prep. I spoke to the principal and she was so shocked. Mm -hmm. I called it the, the bishop's house. I mean, the, the rectory and the girls working there. No one knew. And mm. I said, you know, this is the right time the book is coming out because yes. I'm going to put pictures. Because mm -hmm. I will, I got some pictures eventually, but mm -hmm. for the actual pictures of the old building myself and pictures of the old academy, how it was, no one seemed to know. And that was, yeah. So that means mm -hmm. to say the history is not being told down there. You know, the history. Not after. not even with um, Lennox Honey Church, because I know he does he a great job. He didn't have any pictures. Wow. He, he didn't have any. He knew about, a, um, about the old academy. Yes, of course, because I'm mm -hmm. sure he must have gone there himself. With Raymond Lawrence went to the old academy, but no one had pictures. But I'm talking about the, the actual school itself, because I would have thought, you know, that they would have a picture or something at mm -hmm. the school to let the other uh, students of today know that um the school did exist and no one seemed to have known so i said okay that's mm -hmm. fine my book is coming out so yes. the history of dominica a history of the convent back mm -hmm. in the 60s is in the book so, right interesting yeah. thank you for that yeah. now before we get ready to sign off i wanted to read some of your reviews from amazon if that's okay with you oh sure of course of course yes yeah. Yes, so I'm looking at one, Learn Life Lessons is the author, and she says, poetry takes a special kind of writing skill set. I agree, I don't mess with poetry. Uh -huh. And Miss Rosalind has this skill. She takes you on a journey that has you wanting for more. I am mm -hmm. learning more about life and appreciating the people in my life more because of oceans of thoughts. Get your copy today. Very well said. Uh, another one thought-provoking and relatable well written your poems evoke the unspoken words and carries one into experiencing your memories could relate to the experience of losing your sister thank you for the reader 
And then just one more, because I think these reviews speak volumes about your book, Roslyn. Thank you. Uh, the Journey Back Home. The poems in this book brought back so many memories of home. I also related to the experience of losing a sister. Miss Severa McLean evoked the, the memory of my sister bringing a smile to my face. The poems are an easy read flow into real life flowing into real life experience of youth, making you remember the good old days of attending school, learning the nuns, <laughs> who can forget the nuns? The, nuns. <laughs> <laughs> the fun, remembering friends, the sunny days growing up in the Caribbean, innocence, very yeah. nice. Thank yeah. you for the memories, awaiting book two. So yeah, some folks yeah. are anxiously waiting book two. So yeah. what are your thoughts on, on the reviews, Rosalind? I'm very appreciative uh, for the of the you know of what they have people has, has said. Um, actually, it's very true how they the how they uh, express themselves. You know because these reviews I'm hearing a lot of similar reviews from other people who actually have not put reviews on Facebook but have on um on the Amazon. But I've had other reviews because I did open mic, I did open mic here and um, in New York. And the, mm -hmm. from the audiences, you know, the, I have similar reviews from the audiences there. Especially mm -hmm. when I did the open mic and I spoke about, I did a poem on my sister. One of the poems on my sister that I did. And, um, you know, everybody, you know, was thrilled, you know. They, they came up to me and telling me about, how, you know, same same sort of thing that it relates to with their sister when the sister passed. So I have had um, a lot of these similar reviews from other people. You know, mm -hmm. international audiences. I always say international because we are Caribbean, Western, and Dominican people. So I say international, meaning other other nationalities. So yes, um, you know, and I'm very appreciative. You know, it gives me encouragement to yes. write more. You know, mm -hmm. it really does. Um, you know, sometimes you get some people telling you other things, but mm -hmm. I don't. I just more or less, you know, look at to block look them up, out. Yes, and mm -hmm. look up to the to the higher consciousness and see mm -hmm. and write through there. You mm -hmm. know. I was going to, I remember you mentioned something. Yes. Like read up yes. something from the, uh, I'm trying to figure out, I mean, going through all the poems, wondering which one to, to read on. But since we've been talking about one right now, um, I will just read a short, you know, maybe one or two, one or two um, standards from, from one of her poems. I said, um, yes, she's my sister too. Floods of emotions, oceans, waves flow. Rivers of waters, tears overflow. What happened, a lament fit, strange sacrifice, daring conflict. You headed the team, knowledge and wit, tight-lipped, momentous tip. Yes, she's my sister too. Continuous conversations we shared, intelligent, creative beam. You stuck by my hip with sister glue. We were unseparated. We were very close. Everything it seemed. What? What happened? You halted on precious feet. Yes, she's my sister too. A gifted pianist you were from childhood throughout life. You gave of yourself. You gave to family. Pure selfless service all through your life. You were brilliant in your prestigious career. Diligent through your work and in music and dance and culture. You were a rare gem with a sweet, gentle love and humble spirit. You were specially chosen with a genuine heart and strong faith. Yet, you suffered through the stigma of unfavorable plights, shadowed with your beautiful personality. Your spreads of joy, your precious smiles, your hearty welcomes. You told me all, you told me all. Yes, she's my sister too. Last text message from you, going to the hospital. Don't call me now. Words unforeseen, no previous warning of your failing health. Distress unmeasured, discontentment prevailed. Say hi and bye, hurtful cry. She must not be stressed, shocked, I complied. Yet, yes, she's my sister too. 
numerous phone calls, numerous phone calls, unanswered, numerous text messages, unreturned, numerous inquiries, unfulfilled, moments of continuous plea, undelivered, travel plans, unresolved, conflicted demands overall. Tell her, tell her, she can hear, she can hear. Tell her, tell her, it is me, it is me. Precious moments, irrepressible, yes, she's my sister too. Then she was told, she stared, looking at the sound of my name, at last. She knew I was calling, at last. That fateful morning, at last. She heard my name, at last. Just one more time, at last. Peace, in transition, in transition. Yes, she's my sister too. Floods of emotions. Ocean waves flow, rivers of waters, tears overflow. That was written in June, 2017. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. I can, see, I can see why the reviews are so powerful. <laughs> that you. was absolutely heartfelt. And again, our sympathy for the loss of your sister, of course. Thank you, thank you. But I think she, I think she's looking down on you and smiling because I know she was one of the persons who yes. was encouraging you. And we have some clapping in the in the comment <laughs> sections as everyone is applauding your work. Thank you, thank you. Yes, this I did this one also at the at the open the open mic at Flushing Town Hall in Queens, and I got very good reviews and standing ovation and everything from the people. So that even gave me more encouragement to actually do the book. Because mm -hmm. I, had I had done the open mic before I even started doing the book. You know, mm -hmm. I did it right after 2007, 2018. You know, so this gave me a lot of encouragement to, mm -hmm. to do this. And um, I'm happy that other people can relate to it. So it's very authentic. Authentic, it, you know, it's, it's just very true. You know, mm -hmm. it's very honest. Because my right. book actually, yes. you know, it's about my life experiences. Mm -hmm. So at first, I remember people saying, who wants to hear about your life? Who wants to hear about your life? But it's not just that. I, I'm on a different space. Yeah. I'm, I'm on a, in a different realm. Uh, you know, I'm just, that's basically it. I'm not in the, you know. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm happy. I think a lot of us are happy that you did not listen to that, the naysayers and the doubters. So just kind of remind us where we can buy the book, um, the cost of the book. And especially, it seems like a lot of times folks want um, the book to be signed by the author. So if you have an option for that as well. Okay. Um, yes, the book is available on Amazon. It's only only fourteen ninety nine. It's not very expensive. Um, not at all. That, yeah, this is something too with my coach. They, you know, he helped us. Well, the people on his team, how to price your book. You know, that's a very important thing. How you price your book. You know, books in the same genre of what you're doing. So this is this is what it is. And um, so also for Dominica, I um, got getting some books at Jay's bookstore. Mm. Particularly, maybe sometime in May, because you know it takes time to order, yes. time for it to get down there. So mm. yeah, people are asking in Dominica. So those who can don't have Amazon, you know, they could get on the land itself. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, yeah, so I'm I'm doing it this way. And for the autograph of the book, well, you know, because of the COVID, I don't have the book signing together. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons. But mm -hmm. um, as soon as things open up. And things come better. I will definitely um, plan, you know, to do the. I have to, have to do the the, co the book signing, a book signing event, one mm -hmm. way or the other, because people have asked me. Many have asked me to to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. So and, and of course, if anyone if anyone wants any additional information, they can also send you a message on Facebook through Facebook oh. Messenger as well, so they can definitely. always reach out. Um, yeah. to you through this. So do you have any final thoughts as we get ready to, to wind down? And again, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your life experiences as a way to motivate and inspire us. So do you have any thank final you. words for us? Yes. Um, well, um, actually, I think I will mention too, I have a website. You know, they can also reach me on my website, rosinsevermclean.com. You know, mm -hmm. my book is on the website too. So, and then of course I have Facebook, I have um, Instagram, 
you know, um, YouTube or, you know. So, yeah, so you could, re you could reach me on those different platforms. And, um, you know, what I would say is that I would encourage people to write your thoughts, you know, mm -hmm. you know, don't go through the motion, you know, buy the book, you know, read a book and, and, and try to understand where it's coming from and where I'm coming from and how that book can help you.